Stop trying to make ooh, ooh happen. That's a different show. Every now and again, we get one and they go, ooh, ooh, and I'm like, no. Anyway, my next guest is in the, uh, in the uh, film Just Go With It, which is available on... Uh, on I like that kid. Please welcome Brooklyn Decker, everybody. Brooklyn Decker. Enchanting. You look absolutely well, enchanting. Your lovely dress and your necklace there. And, uh, thank and you. you. You look great. Spray tan helps. Spray tan, really? <laughs> look at this. It's like shiny. It's like fake. It's thank you. It's not my spray tan. I don't. Well, I, I'll spray tan you though if you want. Will you? Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'll go so with you with an aerosol. Yeah, yeah, it's a volunteer. Part of the service that. we provide oh, here. Look at that. That's a lovely name, Brooklyn. Uh, Thank you. Are you from Brooklyn? I live in Brooklyn part-time, but I'm named after a horse. Random, I know. I, I, <laughs> Mom what, had a horse named Brooke, or didn't have a horse. A friend had a horse, and she liked the name, so I got Brooklyn. Oh, right. It's weird. I grew up in North Carolina. I don't know. North Carolina, Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's fine. That's, yeah. A, well, that's a nice place, North Carolina. I've been there. Yes. I went, yeah, Charlotte, I've been there. Oh, that's where I'm from. No. Yes. I didn't see you when I was... I didn't, I didn't see anyone see who you. remotely <laughs> resembled you when I was in Charlotte. Why are you there? Uh, I was doing the stand-up comedy. Well, I call it stand-up comedy. Everyone else goes, oh, him. Uh, yeah. Look at that false modesty. That's no, no, cute. it's it's That's no, sweet. it's genuine. Uh, yeah, no, I understand. I can relate. Yeah, that. no. Uh, um, so there you are, then. Um, yeah. You still live there? Or you live here? I live. No, I live in New York and Austin, Texas. And I hear you like the barbecue. I, I heard you're a big barbecue fan. Is that true? If no. Austin, Texas. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. They've got the lovely hot sauce store there. I was there recently. Yeah, it's yeah. good. But but I like the North Carolina better. It's you're just saying that. No, the barbecue's better. Hey, you've had both, right? Like, the Texas is very molasses -y and sweet, and North Carolina is very vinegary and Are we still spicy? talking about barbecue, or is this cool? <laughs> molasses and sweet and yeah, yeah. spicy. Yeah, I've, I've, well, I've had a bunch of different options, and have I you? have to say... That, <laughs> have you? Yeah. Is this snake? Yeah, what? Snake oh, yeah, snake? you know, it's a kind of a Freudian thing, because I've got a small penis. Oh, good. Yeah. And this one wraps around. Right, exactly. Right. Actually, it's not entirely true. That's a double bluff. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's a long story. Okay. Anyway, never mind. It's... Oh, good. Do you like snakes? No, not really? at all. Really? You don't? No, not a fan, particularly. Do people like... I don't know really anybody. Yeah, like somebody snakes. like... Lots of people like snakes. I, I, da, some people like to dance with them. Do they? Yeah. Do you dance with snakes? Yes. In the bedroom? In the bedroom. Somewhere? I dance. <laughs> That's actually my Native American name, Dances with Snakes. Dances. Yeah. It sounds yeah. really like you have some skills. I don't know. That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to. I'm too old to dance with snakes now, though. I just, you know, amble just drink, with snakes. Just drink. Why don't you like, what kind of animals do you, do you have any pets? I do, I have a dog, a Ooh. bulldog, an English bulldog. I heard you have a French I have a French bulldog. bulldog. We should race them. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know about racing. Mine would lose. The bulldog, no, mine would English, lose. They no, have the, like, thick palate, you know, yeah. the snorting, and it's the whole, like, they sweat and, and fart. No they, they, no, they don't sweat. Dogs don't have sweat glands. But mine has wet armpits all the time, so I think something might be wrong. You want to have a veterinarian. Look at that. They said it's normal. and Really? Yeah. I thought dogs didn't have sweat glands. She's Maybe damp. my dogs are lying Maybe to me. Maybe she just pees on herself. I don't know. She could pee on herself. My dog <laughs> could just pee on herself. She, well, you, she pees on her own armpits? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that is wet. a talented dog. <laughs> right? But they're wet. And apparently they don't have sweat glands, according to you. Well, so what I'm, else could it be? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert on dog right. sweat. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, so, well, that's nice. I have a French... Yeah, right. It's nice. Huh. <laughs> well, it's kind of nice. You've got a lovely dog. And, I do. And my dog would beat it in a race. Probably. But my dog could beat yours in a fight, I think, because, you know, they're more stout and muscly. Yeah, but I mm. think my dog would probably cheat your dog. Really? My dog's very clever. Really? Right. Well, the, the, the French bulldog is clever. The German shepherd... I've got three dogs. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I know so much about their sweat. Ah. I grew up with five, so with five I should dogs? know the sweat secret, what, but apparently... What five dogs did you grow up with? Oh, they're all mutts. My parents adopt one, like, every week. They're, like, bassets, beagles, lab mixes. Now, beagles are the ones that uh, smoke cigarettes, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Particular after dances with snakes in the bedroom. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So. <laughs> do you, uh, 
Do you play tennis? No. Because your husband plays tennis, doesn't he? He does play tennis. He's really good at it. Yeah, he's okay. Did he ever say, come on, I'll beat you at tennis? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does. And, and I've been I know nothing about tennis. Racket. Good. I didn't either before okay. I started dating this yeah. person. But uh, You can say his name. It's all right. His name's Andy. Oh, Andy. Yeah, Andy the tennis player. Brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've tried, and I ended up breaking the racket. And it was like this. It was just a, there was the stuff flying everywhere at the racket. And it can you hold? Bad. I'm always impressed they can hold that many balls in one hand. See when they throw one up, and then mm. and then they're able to do all that work whilst holding. My husband can hold balls very well. Can you? Yeah. Apparently. Well, I'm just thinking that's a lot. Does your husband have very big hands? <laughs> Mean necessarily. It means this is your chance to score mm. points with your husband. He That's has what it is. Just big, great man hands. Just great. good. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Just. <laughs> of a man that's an athlete, you know, you can imagine the kind. Oh, I can, yeah. yes, I can. <laughs> yeah. No, he's a pretty good tennis player. I, yeah. I know I met once Bjorn Borg. Did you? Yeah, I did. But I've he, never met him. Yeah, well, it was weird because he looked like a crab that had lost a fight. How was, so? I don't like, know. like a big giant claw on one side and then oh. a little tiny claw on the other side. <laughs> Like a, why? But without the tennis racket, just his hands yeah. were like this? Normally? Maybe it was just the angle I was standing at. Maybe. I don't know. But... I hope that's not like the future of my husband. Well, does your husband stand like this a lot? Not yet. All right. Well, then you'll be all right. Yeah. If you come home and he's standing like this, you'll have to say, hey, knock I'll it off. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the heads up on that. Yeah, I'm just trying I'm to keep so you right. Yeah, you. Yeah. Well, we're out of time. Oh. Did you meet Jeff, by the way? He's a, he's a robot. Hi, Jeff. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I like your mohawk. Thanks. It's <laughs> cool. He was talking so much earlier. He doesn't. He no, doesn't no. He, he gets intimidated sometimes when he really likes people. He goes very quiet. But he talked to Don. <laughs> like I say, when he really likes people, he goes. Very quiet. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey, we're we're out of time here. Um, oh. What about um, a uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, or touch my glittery ball? I got to tell you though, with the touch my glittery ball. Mm -hmm. We haven't really thought it through yet. It's still kind of half-baked, I think. You know what? I'm going to do the mouth organ mm -hmm. because Don did the awkward pause and the ball-touching, grazing thing. I like your style. You're a yeah. team player. I am. You do. You, you came here to, yep. to you, you put on the spray tan and you, you said, I'm doing it. Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah. Uh, all right, then here's your uh, here's your organ. Is uh, it clean? It's yeah, it's brand new. Oh, good. It's never oh, been touched. That's fancy. And uh, it's a virgin organ, if you will. And <laughs> this is the uh, oh, this looks good. Yes. Uh, oh, we got it. I got it. I'm sorry. Right. Continue. Promoting this. This is good. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Wait. This is like rolling. What is? This? Okay. You, yeah, right. You ready? Have you, this now, side. Yeah. Can you play this? No. Okay. <laughs> you said the what? What were the directions to blow in to Blow suck? and suck and everybody wins. Okay. <laughs> Don't you tap it? <laughs> I like that. It's good, no. It's, right. it's, gonna, it's like if a Muppet was the player. Sensational. I mean, really, what a lovely dress. I have a little bit of a fupa happening. But a, a, a what? A, what do you call that? A, a fupa? Do you know what that stands for? Fupa. A fupa. A fupa? I'm no. not going to say it. I don't think I can say it on television. It, it has then you must say it. <laughs> a fupa is a um, flabby upper area. <laughs> oh! Oh, got it, yes, yes. Oh, can't you say I that? have a fupa. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not, that's not a fupa, it's a it's dress. It's like a pouch. Yeah, it looks great. It's like it's, a little pouch. It's lovely, it's, it's how's, uh, how's everything else otherwise? Yeah, yeah everything else is great. Seems to be fine. Sorry I brought that up first, that was really inappropriate. No, I, I like that. inappropriate. Okay, well. It's a thing that I do. Right, I, I know. Ever seen uh, a polar bear? A polar bear? Yeah, yeah, they'll stalk you. 
Okay. I don't get it. It was talking to, to uh, Dominic Mona and polar bears will stop, will follow oh, right, you home. Right, right. Have you ever been followed home by a bear? I have not, and okay. nor have I gone diving with sharks or anything that he well, was talking what, about. How the hell do you fill your day? I don't know. He was saying this, and I thought I need to be living because clearly no, I'm no, not. No, no, you're fine. You're on the show, friends with. with better lives. Be friends with better lives. Yeah. It's very different. Now, what, what, what's different <laughs> uh, about it? We have better lives. Right. Okay. So that's really it. Right. Is it? Is it? Uh, that's, it's, that's a, it. it's a sitcom. It's a sitcom. Yes, no, we it's, it we obviously are going to draw the parallel with friends because friends with better lives. I didn't see that. No, I didn't see that at of all. Not. I didn't either when I read it. But okay. um so basically we start later in our lives in the original ah, friend right. cast does. Right. And we have six different friends. Some are married, newly divorced, single, I'm newly engaged, and we're basically following a group of friends that are trying to maintain their friendships even though they're kind of going down different paths. Oh, and yes. it takes place in L.A. It's not New York. It's not West Right, yeah. So... Hey, 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 don't cheer for L.A. <laughs> if you were really from L.A., you wouldn't have cheered for L.A. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Where are you from again? I forget. North Carolina. That's so not LA. right, yeah, near Charlotte. Yeah, yeah, near Charlotte. Yeah, North Carolinians here. That, okay. They're lying. They're from no. the Canary Islands. All right. <laughs> have, have you ever been to the Canary Islands? I've never have. Well, I, I, neither have I, but I fancy it. You want to go? I, why not? I like Canaries. I like islands. What's there you not go. to like? And go reef diving. I do. Have or you ever been? Have you ever been diving? No. Well, what do you do for your exciting. recreation sport? Nothing. Oh, I, come on! You must do something. You're a terrific shape. This, thank you. It's called having great parents. I don't do anything to deserve it. So you send your parents out to? I do. They. I work them very hard. And they, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, and no. Turn, I mean, you I must play this. tennis. Your husband plays tennis. Don't you play tennis with? I him? play no tennis. Really? Because I will always be the most terrible player in the house, and I just feel like. Well, he's a world champion. You know. I know. I... That's a losing battle. I refuse to fight. Well, so but, I just... nah, but you're his wife. He's got to let you win. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. When you're married to an athlete, there's no letting win. That's not even in their vocabulary. That's not even. Like the com no, that's that's not gonna happen. Girl, you have got to learn where the power is. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you, uh -huh. if I was a world champion tennis player and right. I was playing you, you'd win. It's a pick your battle situation, and to be fair, he has tried, and I ended up breaking the racket. So really, it's shocking, but I am the one with the worst temper in the household. You you broke the racket in in a tantrum. Yeah. That's I'm not. There's great. No, there's n yeah. There's no sugar coating. I threw a fit. Are you a very competitive person? No. I just throw rackets when I'm getting a tennis lesson, and crush them into little bits. So, well, it'd be difficult. Yeah. It'd be like you know. I, I guess it would be tough because he'd be trying to help you and you'd feel like patronized a little bit. He told me, you know what he said to me? I shouldn't even, okay. He said to me, <laughs> just get this. So we're playing and I've never played before. And he right. says to me, um, you know, honey, uh, point to where you want to hit the ball and then follow through, just point and follow through. And I said, stop talking to me like a five-year-old. Like you can tell me like an adult how to hit a tennis ball. And he You're said, right, girl. You don't need you. that. I don't yeah. Care. <laughs> and he said to me, if you play like a five-year-old, I'm gonna have to talk to you like a five-year-old. Oh yeah, yeah. So I crushed the racket into a million little bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that was, was that. that must have set the maturity level that spiking rare. Very mature. Well, you gotta find something to do as you get older. You won't stay naturally <laughs> fit forever. You gotta find something. Yoga. What do you or... do? Yeah, me, I, yes. I run and box and use that machine like that. Oh, and you play the soccer and you hit. No, you that's only hit? once a show. Well, uh, you guys hit something down, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Dominic, he, uh, he did right. a little bit of ball control and knocked something off. It's all fine. And I love, I love. You know, I live in Austin, Texas now, so this feels very. This is home to me. This Horse situation. riding. That's a good thing. Well. Just a bit of exercise. The horses, you know. Seeing a horse is, is an Looking exercise. Looking at them, I feel like that's exercise for now. Well, it depends. Do you walk to see the horses? No, I just I drive by slowly and look at them. I'm concerned that you're not getting enough <laughs> activity. <laughs> I like Austin, Texas, though. Have you ever Thank been to uh, Ironsides Barbecue? What was the name of that place, Jeff? That place, uh, Iron Iron Whiskey Whiskey iron Pete's. Ta whiskey I Iron or whiskey something? Iron. We went no. to a place there, it was great. Really? Yeah, yeah, I've never barbecue, been. iron works. You have to go to Stubbs. Stubbs? And Franklin's. So Stubbs is a great music venue with barbecue, and Franklin's is the legendary barbecue in Austin, Texas. No, I think the irony one is the legendary I, one. You know where you know where you need to go though. <laughs> North Carolina. Carolina. I've barbecue. been to North Carolina. But Carolina barbecue there. 
It's better than Texas. Sorry, Austin. Whoa, I'm gonna be, like, whoa. hey, <laughs> now, you know. I'm going to be hey. kicked out of Austin. No, but it's uh, North Carolina. Austin's it's, a very uh, different kind of Texas than the rest of Texas. It's kind of like weird. Portland. It is like and, uh, Portland. Uh, yeah, it's... Like, we're all a bunch of hippies down in Austin. Are you very hippie? Do you, do you eat am. a lot of kale? I eat a lot of kale. <laughs> and I what look about... at a lot of horses, so I stay fit. It's the kale. Do the horses eat kale? Probably. In Austin, they do. Yeah. yeah. No, but I am. I'm, I'm are, you a, are you a hipster? Are you, do you... I'm not a hipster. I'm just, like, my parents didn't let me watch television until I was 13. Oh, you're a uh -oh. hipster then. I'm a, it's like uh, hippie. What? But it's a hipster. I feel like you're exposed to cool and you choose to be cool. And I feel like if you're a hippie, you're not even exposed to the cool stuff. You're just kind of a weird granola person. And that's sort of what I am. We have, like, a Are you compost. very granola? Are you very kind of... I mean... I drive bit. past horses, so I'm driving, so that's... Yeah, but are you in a car that doesn't use fossil fuels? Yes, yeah. you are. <laughs> Yeah, I am. Yeah, there's a lot of them in Austin. I know. I know that. there are a lot yeah. of us. We're weird. I'm sorry. No, Keep it's Austin fine. weird. You have to. It's not that weird. Down there. It's not that weird. Are you that way? Are you a hippie or no? Yeah, I'm a hippie. You are. Yeah. Uh -huh. no. Mm -hmm. I'm no. I like uh, in the internal combustion engine. And, there you go. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Fossil really fuels. Really making a good a good footprint. No, no. I don't. I don't <laughs> actually. I, I I glide over the earth. You glide. <laughs> On That's a hovercraft powered by kale. That is see. <laughs> That's the way to do no, it. That's how I, I do, do it. I do my bit. I do my thing. You do. It's a riveting conversation. No, no. Man. Well, we're out of time. <laughs> do you want to? Uh, you want to kick a ball at the horse? Yeah, sure. <laughs> really? You don't yeah. have to. I mean, we could do an awkward pause or. Uh, I would love to do an awkward pause. Oh, okay. Nothing better than dead air, right? I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to, uh... No. Brooklyn Decker, everybody, we're